Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Today we're going to be doing a quick Adobe Lightroom tutorial and we're going to be addressing a huge workflow issue that has plagued me and my use of Lightroom for the last few years and I've just discovered the solution to it. I'm demonstrating in Adobe Lightroom 3 at the moment. I do also have Lightroom 4 down here but I'm going to be using 3 because I know a lot of people still haven't upgraded to 4 so I want to show that it's also possible in 3. And the feature that we're talking about here is uh, importing multiple memory cards simultaneously. So you come back from a shoot, you have two, three, four compact flash cards, maybe an SD card, and you just want to set them all going. You don't want to come back every 10 minutes, every 20 minutes and swap them over. You want to set them all downloading, generating previews, and just come back to it when it's all done. Now, this is something that you can do in Photo Mechanic. A lot of uh, photo journalists and sports photographers use Photo Mechanic, and that's one of the reasons that that I've used Photo Mechanic in the last year uh, is to is to accomplish this. Um, you know, when you come back from uh, shooting a sports event, you often have thousands and thousands of photos on multiple cards, and it's just nice to set them all going and come back to it when it's done. Um, I searched around on the internet, and I couldn't find any documentation that showed this was possible in Lightroom. Uh, in fact, I asked on uh, all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus recently, to all my followers, and not a single one of them told me that this was possible in Lightroom. In fact, many, many people told me you had to use Photo Mechanic for this, uh, but that's not true. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. It's actually really simple. Uh, go File, Import Photos. The regular import dialog comes up and we see we have three devices here, um, all with the same name. They're all from a Canon camera, so um, they all come with this default name. I've got two card readers plugged in, a SanDisk Compact Flash card reader, an Alexar SD and Compact Flash card reader. All three of them, all three of the slots have a card in them. We're going to ignore this section here that says source though. I'm going to come down here where we see them all listed in the folder structure. Click this arrow down here and we're going to go ahead and click the first folder that says DSIM. Now make sure you have this little box here ticked, include subfolders. And for the purpose of this demonstration, to keep it nice and quick, I've just put one photo in each of these memory cards just to keep things nice and speedy. So as you'll see, if you were, if you were to drill down further in the folder structure, this photo is actually buried in this folder here. But with this uh, include subfolders box checked, we don't need to go that far. We can just click on the DSIM box. Uh, drop down each of these other two cards. And now we're going to command click on the other DSIM. And there we go, there is the photo that is on the second memory card. Command click on the third one, and right away there is the, the photo that is on the third card. Now, I've, as I said, I've just got one photo on each card, but if we had a thousand photos on each card, we would be seeing a thousand photos in each of these boxes. So, all we're going to do is click import, and one, two, three, there's the photos from three different cards simultaneously loaded into my Lightroom library. So. Uh, I mean, it's as simple as that. I'm I'm quite surprised that uh, I haven't been able to read about this anywhere else. I've been using Lightroom for several years, and no one's mentioned this. Um, I hope this is helpful to a lot of people, and uh, I think judging by the reactions to people when I told them I'd figured out how it was, this is going to be quite a surprise to some people. Um, it does work, as I said, in Lightroom 4, so if you're upgrading, then uh, definitely take that into account, that you'll be able to continue to do this. And I think this is going to be a huge time saver for a lot of people. It certainly will be for me. So uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more uh, photography equipment reviews and uh, software tutorials.